Lama 3 model is still dazzling us from different angles. In this video, I will be installing this code tuned version of Lama 3 on my local system on Windows and then we will be playing around on different coding benchmarks. If you don't know what Lama 3 is, I have done multiple videos on it in the last few days. So Meta developed and released this Meta Lama 3 family of LLMs which is a collection of pre-trained and instruction-tuned generative text models in 8 and 70 billion sizes. The LAMA 3 instruction-tuned models are optimized for dialogue use cases and outperform many of the available open-source chat models on common industry benchmarks. These models are really known for their helpfulness and safety. Since the release of these models around three weeks ago, lot of people have done a lot of fine tuning from various angles. I found that this coding fine tune is one of the good ones. But strangely enough, the actual original model has been deleted from Hugging Face. I am not sure why. But thankfully, we have this quantized version available from Bartowski and that is what I am going to install on my local system where I am running. 1 GPU card of 22 GB VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. I am running LM Studio to get it installed. If you don't know what it is, I have done various videos, so please search the channel for LM Studio. So launch LM Studio on your local Windows system. Just type Lama 3 8 billion instruct, press enter, and you should be able to find some of the quantized version for coding. So you'll see that um, here I already have downloaded the one with a good balance between speed and performance. This one, the Q5KM. If I show you my file, then you will see it is around under six gig. So it should be good enough. Let's load the model. Let's select the model from here. Let's wait for it to get loaded on my GPU card. Model is loaded. Now from the <clears throat> right hand side panel, select the Llama 3. This is a preset and then just make it a bit bigger and then on the right hand side let's offload everything to uh, my gpu so that the speed will be good and let's load the model again and that is all we need to do in order to get it installed and configured let's ask it a few of the questions the first question i'm asking it is to summarize the following python function in one sentence it's a simple factorial function there you go how good the response is it has very well um, explained that what exactly this function does. It calculates the factorial of a non-negative integer n recursively, which is good. And then when n is 0 and multiplying n by the factorial of n minus 1. So you can quickly tell that the model is very, very compact. Let's try it out on a JavaScript function example. In this one, I'm asking it. Provide a brief summary of the purpose of this JavaScript function. It's a palindrome. There you go. So it is checking if your string is palindrome by com comparing it with its reverse. That is very, very correct. So it understand this function very well too. Now let's <clears throat> ask it to check if it understand C++. So in this one, I'm asking it to write a concise summary for this C++ snippet. And then I have given it a C++ code. There you go. It performs a binary search and it has very correctly identified that it is adjusting the lower and upper boundary according to until the element is found. And then <clears throat> it is also explaining if you go up that there is an if else statement and what is happening there, it is also showing us that. So amazing, amazing model. Let's try out few of the poor ones. So I'm just going to give it a prompt to generate the code. So I'm asking it to generate a Python function that calculates the area of a rectangle given its length and width. How oh, good. Very, very terse. Let's check out the JavaScript code generation. In this one, I'm asking it to create a JavaScript function that checks if a number is even or odd. Amazing stuff. Amazing. And now let's try to see if it understands C++. I'm asking it to simple create object oriented code. So all I did was, sorry, I'll just go up. It was still generating. 
So I'm asking it generate a C++ class representing a basic calculator with methods for addition, subtraction, and <clears throat> division, multiplication. And there you go. It has included the library. It has defined the class with all the constructor and stuff. And then <clears throat> it has given us a main function where it is instantiating the object for that class and then giving us all the information with very cool exception handling. Let's see if it understand Ruby scripts or not. I'm going to ask it, write a Ruby script that reads an array of integer and prints the sum of all positive numbers. Perfecto. So you see that it also understand Ruby. It is defining the function and then it is just iterating through it. Amazing stuff. So it can very well understand the code and generate the code. Let's try out few other things. And now I am trying to do the code translation. So I'm asking it, translate this Python function into JavaScript. Let's see. There you go. So amazing stuff. So spot on. Let's try to ask it to translate the C code into Ruby. Yep, that is correct. And then maybe I'll just say, uh, go into Lisp. I'm not sure if it is able to do it, but let's see. Yep, that is correct. So Lisp is all about parentheses. It has done it. That is good. And now let's try to uh, convert the JavaScript into C++. Yep, that is correct. Amazing stuff. Let's see if it can do the code repair. In this prompt, I'm, uh, I'm asking it, identify and fix the issue in this Python function. There you go. So very, very correctly, it says the provided function is missing an adjustment when it sums up scales of number. It should start from one. Amazing. And then it has given us the corrected version too. How good is that? Let's try to identify and repair a Ruby method. There you go. So this is a Ruby method. And if you go up, so it, so this is a Ruby method. It has identified the bug and then it has fixed the issue and it has given us the whole synopsis of this code to amazing, amazing stuff. Now towards the end, let me see if it can understand SQL, the structured query language. So in this one, I'm giving it that given the provided suboptimal SQL, query intended to retrieve customer detail and their most recent order. Optimize this query to improve efficiency, performance, and readability. Ensure the optimized query adheres to modern SQL based practices. Let's see. Wow, wow. Not only it has optimized it, but you see this optimized version, it has described that what it has done where clause is replaced with inner join table aliases are used to improve readability how amazing and the query still uses a simple order by this to get the most recent order but it remains as it is already efficient due to ordering on the order date yes and it is suggesting if performance optimization is required an index could be added on the order date column how good is that so I believe this is one of the best coding fine tuned of Llama 3. And this is just a quantized version. Just Im imagine what would be the original uh, model. So I'm not sure why it was removed or from hugging face. Anyway, I'll drop the link to this model card of uh, this GGUF file. Try out, uh, Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.